Hi, I'm Lydia with the Isani Soil and Water Conservation District, and today we are looking for invasive species. We're at South Stanchfield Lake, which has curly leaf pondweed, so today we're looking for that and anything else that's new. The way to look for invasive species is pretty easy. First, we're going to start by looking along the shoreline to see if anything's washed up or if there's any zebra mussels growing on anything. And if that doesn't work, that's okay, because we also have a rake. As part of my looking for AIS today, I'm going to help you identify curly leaf pondweed. In order to identify it, you need to know what it looks like. So here's an image of curly leaf pondweed. When it comes to identifying curly leaf pondweed, it's pretty easy. Just remember the name. This aquatic plant has lasagna-shaped leaves that can form dense mats at the water surface. It also typically grows in waters up to 15 feet deep. Its leaves are simple and alternate on the stem, and they typically grow up to three inches long with a serrated margin. They have wavy edges and a rounded tip. Let's get started. Step one, looking along the shoreline. Hmm, I'm seeing a lot of plants, so I'll have to reach in and grab them to see what they are. No, I don't see any of those curly leaves in here, so I can't see any curly leaf pondweed here today. Didn't see anything on the side of the lake, so let's throw this rake. Each time you throw the rake, you're going to want to throw it about 10 feet out, and you're going to want to repeat this all along the shoreline, checking the rake each time you throw it. Look at all those goodies. I don't see any of those long curly leaves in here, so there must not be any curly leaf pondweed. Once again, this is what curly leaf pondweed looks like and what we were trying to find in the rake and shoreline. There are some native beneficial pondweeds, such as broadleaf pondweed and clasping leaf pondweed, that look like curly leaf pondweed. However, curly leaf pondweed can be distinguished based on its serrated leaf edges, seen here. But luckily, I also don't see anything new, like Eurasian water milfoil or zebra mussels, which is good, but it means you'll have to learn how to identify them in another video. Now that you know how to identify curly leaf pondweed, you can look for it on your own. And remember, prevention is the best key when it comes to AIS. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Lydia Godfrey with the Asani Soil and Water Conservation District, and you have a great time identifying invasive species.